Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to go through uh, booklet printing and uh, how to save that as a favorite setting on your printer driver to make it really easy to do in the future. So, the first thing you do to print a, a booklet is of course open the document that you would like to print. I've got a product brochure of the uh, Konica Minolta Bishub here that I would like to print. So this applies to the Bishub uh, models from the C224 up to the C754. So I've got my document. I'm going to select uh, File and Print. Uh, select your printer that you're going to use. Uh, click on Properties. And I'm now going to go through the settings with you. I'm going to show you this one here, the favorite setting. I've actually got that stored in here already. So I've got here a book or a booklet, A3 with cover, I've called it here. So if I wanted to print that now, I'd simply just select my favorite setting and hit OK and print. That's all. But now I'm going to show you how that favorite setting is set up, because you have to do that the first time. So this particular booklet is set up with a nice glossy cover and plain paper inside the booklet. So I'm going to go through the tabs. First go on the basic tab. So you can see here it's set up original size is A4. Uh, the paper size I'm using for this booklet is A3. And the paper tray I'm going to pull that paper from is tray 2 and plain paper just quickly show you here under paper settings for each tray you can see that the uh, what the device status is here so this is what the uh, what is set up on the printer I've got two trays with A3 in each one tray 1 is set up as thick 2 and tray 2 is set up as plain paper both with A3 size and I'm actually using the thick 2 glossy paper for my cover and plain paper for the inside of the booklet. So just hit reflect device status here to make sure your my computer is using the same settings as the PSUB or the device. So OK to that. And that's all the settings on this tab. I'm now going to go to the layout tab and you can see I've selected booklet as the print type and on the next tab, the finish tab, I've selected center staple and fold which will then fold and staple the the booklet for me. The cover mode, go to that tab now. This is where I specify to use a nice shiny glossy cover. So I selected or ticked the front cover option. So when you do a book you see there's a back cover option as well, but when you do a booklet, the front cover also becomes the back cover because it's all on one sheet. So uh, the next one here, I select to print, which means I'm going to print onto the front cover. If I had a pre-printed front cover, I could leave that blank. But in this case, I'm going to print on it and select the tray for the front cover, which is in this case tray 1. And that's it. Uh, I can go through the next tab, the stamp composition tab. I haven't used that in this case, so I did not specify anything in there. And the quality, just remember that if your default, if your print driver is default to grayscale, remember to select color if you want it in color and any other color settings to improve quality or the type of document that you're using. You can modify that in here. I'm going to go back to the front my tab, so that's all the settings. Once you've created this for the first time and you're happy with all those settings, you could, like you see I've done up here with the favorite setting, you could click the add button, give your favorite setting a name, like uh, book A3, uh, maybe with uh, cover, just make up a name that uh, suits you, and I've already created one uh, with that name. But I'm just going to save that anyway. And I'm going to click OK and print. 
and that's it. My book will now be, uh, or my document, my brochure, will now be printed as a booklet, folded and stapled with a nice coloured cover and um, plain paper on the inside. And that's it. Hope you find that useful. Talk to you soon.